In my early 20s, when I was in the Navy, I pretty much lived off of California burritos. And I'm feeling kind of nostalgic. So let's make some. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is marinate your strip steak. Then to start on your marinade, just rough chop some jalapenos, onions, and some garlic. Put your rough chopped veg into the blender and just squeeze some orange juice and some lime juice in it. Add in some spices like cumin, coriander, and then top it off with some soy sauce. Once you got that, just blend it up. All that's left is to season it with some salt and pepper, and then dump all that marinade on top of there and let that go for about an hour. So while that's going, let's start on some pico de gallo. I like some pico in this because it adds a lot of freshness that balances everything out. It's really easy. All you have to do is chop up some tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, some garlic, cilantro, add that all to a bowl, and then season it with some spices, salt, and lime juice. Mix that all together, and then you have this beautiful fresh salsa. The key is just to season to taste. Make sure the lime juice and the salt is on point. And while we're at it, we might as well make some guacamole. Just take some fleshy parts out of an avocado, toss it in a bowl with some cumin, coriander, and chili powder. Add some jalapenos and onions, garlic, lime juice, salt and pepper to taste. Use a fork and mix it up to your desired consistency. For an itchy mouth. I'm allergic to avocado, so my mouth starts to itch. One of the most vital components to a California burrito is the french fries. So cut them up, give them some oil, salt and pepper, toss them on a rack, and cook them in your oven at 425 for about 30 minutes, or until they're crispy. The last thing you gotta do is cook off your carne asada. Use a ripping hot pan so it gets some char. Also, skirt steak, flank steak, stuff like that is kind of tricky because if you overcook it, it's kind of tough. But if you undercook it, it's kind of tough also. So make sure you cook it just right. Also, let it rest. It helps out a bit too. Once it's rested, just chop it up. Cut it into smaller pieces against the grain so you're not having any chewy bites. Once you've got everything taken care of, it's time to make your burrito. Take a large tortilla, add some guacamole, french fries, all that carne asada. I made some chipotle aioli that will be in the recipe below also. Top it with some pico de gallo and shredded cheese. Roll that up. Twitch chat had no faith that I could actually roll this burrito, but we came out victorious. <laughs> And then all that's left is to give it a tan in a hot pan. Be careful not to burn it because burnt tortillas don't taste the best. And there you have it, a very satisfying California burrito. I'll have the recipe and everything in the description below if you wanna check it out. Thanks for hanging out while I make dinner. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like the video and I'll see you guys next time.